Hey race team, looks like you have some extra pit crew hands for us today. That is great news because your cars need a big tune up before we vroom on over to the big race. Friends, would you like to help us get our cars in tip top shape? Yes! Great, the first thing we need to do is make sure the tires on our cars are nice and tight. Everyone grab your wrenches. Thanks Sparky. Now let's give it a good twist this way. Great job. Now let's give it a good twist that way. Great. Now let's grab our rags. We'll use these to wipe off all the bugs and dirt from our cars. Thanks Sparky. Everyone let's wipe our race cars until they shine. Wow, look at those cars shine. Now it's time to fill up your love tanks with a story from God's Word. Friends, do you know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right. Let's all get ready to fuel up with a story from the Bible by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Great. Now let's put on our good loves racing goggles. Zoop, zoop. zoop. Now you're ready. I want to share with you a great story today about a man named Abraham. Can you say Abraham? Abraham! One day, God told Abraham to move to a new place. God did not tell Abraham where the new place was, but he promised to show Abraham and his family how to get there. So Abraham and Sarah packed everything they had and loaded it all onto camels and donkeys. Can you all say, hee-haw, like the donkeys carrying their things? Hee-haw! Whoa, those donkeys had lots of things to carry. Now every day, Abraham, his family, and all the animals walked and walked and walked. Each day they had to wait for God to tell them where to go. They would camp out in tents every night and start walking again the next morning. Let me see you all pretend to walk like Abraham and his family. Hey, good job. You can stop walking now. I don't want you to get too tired. But after waiting and walking and waiting and walking, God finally told Abraham to stop. They had arrived at the new place God wanted them to live. Abraham and his family thanked God for bringing them safely to this new place. Can all of you say thank you to God too? Thank you! Good job! You see, even though Abraham had to do a lot of waiting, he was patient and waited with a happy heart. When we wait with a happy heart, we are showing God and others that we love them. As you are in the garage and out on the track today, don't forget that God wants us to be patient, like Abraham, and wait with a happy heart. Hey, why don't you say this after me before you vroom away? Wait. Wait. With a happy. With a happy. Heart. Heart. You've got it. Well, it looks like you're ready to race. Make your way to the starting line and keep an eye out for the green flag. It's going to let you know when it's time to go.